So we had the Philips booth, and who are you? My name's James Bevan, and I'm from OnLive, and we're here demonstrating for the first time and the OnLive app is available and manufacture inside a TV set. So that's like uh, uh, Philips is making a bunch of TVs powered by Android, uh, even Ultra HD, and uh, built in on the TV is OnLive. That's correct. So that gives you a, uh, a portal directly through to over 300 games. The amazing thing about this is it's very much like Netflix is to movies and Spotify is to music. It gives you instant access to your entire library of games. Um, you typically log in, uh, you sign up to one of the subscription packs with the Play Pack or Cloudlift, and you can instantly play those games wherever you go. All the games included in the All subscription? All the games in, are included in the subscription. How much? Uh, so in pounds, it's currently 6 95 a month for the Play Pack, which is kind of the Netflix of video games. Um, there's 250 games that you can play as much as you like, wherever you like. Uh, and which we, are these games? Are they like PC games? They're actually, yes. What's actually happening here is the games are, are being streamed directly from our servers in Luxembourg. So this is Luxembourg right this now. This is Luxembourg. You didn't cheat, like install something like no, behind this one? No gaming hardware here at all. It's just a broadband connection to... Correct, yes. That's so the, the broadband we're using is about 5 to 6 megabits per second. As soon as this TV is unpacked out of the box, you just plug in a game controller and you've got access to all those games. All right, just uh, like is the game controller included with the TV? It's not right now, but it, you can use any PC controller, uh, X input controller, or a, a because there's USB. Controller. There's a USB down here. You connect a wireless and RF using controller. A, a wireless controller, yeah. And uh, let me just jump over here. So, uh, so, so it looks it looks really good. It looks smooth. So how old is Unlive? So Unlive. Uh, Originally launched in 2010, the company was reformed in 2012 and has grown and grown and grown. We've actually completely reworked the whole concept. Uh, it's amazing technology because what is actually happening here is you're leveraging the power from this TV to our cloud servers. Uh, so what this uh, this game is actually running on is an i7 processor, 16 gig of RAM and the latest Nvidia cards. But it's all done through the TV. And the amazing thing is, because this is cloud-based, you can save this game, swap to your Android tablet or your smartphone or your PC or your Mac, load, load up the game and instantly start playing from where you left off. So for all Europe, is Luxembourg your servers? That's correct, yes. Uh, currently, the service is only available in the US, the UK and Canada, but we're just about to start launch in Nordic regions, Netherlands and Ireland, and we look forward to being able to launch in other European territories as Nordic, soon as is that like Denmark, Sweden? Absolutely, yeah. Because yeah. I live in Copenhagen, so I can... Yes, absolutely. That's really good. So, uh, and uh, how many, when you buy a TV, you get a bunch of months for free, no? You actually get, uh, you can, as soon as you um, start up the TV and you set up an account, we give you a week free for one week. for one week. Yep. So one week you try it out, then you pay six ninety five pounds. Six ninety five a month uh, for the two hundred and fifty games, or you can subscribe to Cloudlift, which is four ninety five. That allows you to play games you already own. So, for example, if you have a Steam account and you download a Steam game for your PC, you can then play that Steam game on your TV, on your Android tablet, on your Mac, wherever you like. Um, we also have a bundle where uh, those two. Uh, subscriptions are combined and that's $8.95 a month. Because the Steam is more like a separate, it's only Steam games? So we have Steam games, so uh, those Steam games are being played from our servers. All the Steam games? Not all the Steam games, the, uh, specifically it's the ones that we've actually onboarded onto our service and we're putting them on really, really fast now. But th theoretically, if you have the licensing agreement with the game maker, you can run any game at all? Correct, yes. Every game? Yes. Even the most action-packed, 3D crazy games? Absolutely, because we're, we're not limited by the processing power. We can keep upgrading the servers. If a developer comes to us and says, hey, you know what, I want to make this so super spec, I want everyone to have exactly the same experience. We can do that. We can go to our servers, we can set up a bespoke setup for that game, from the, uh, for that developer. So this is the first time OnLive is on a TV, pre-installed? It's, uh, it's actually the first time on an Android TV. First time on an Android TV pre-installed? Yeah. So does that mean you on every Android device if people just download the app? Correct, yes. yes. So uh, you on uh, Android TV boxes, uh, like set-top boxes and uh, uh, phones and tablets? Anything that will access the Google Play Store, you can download the online client directly to that device, sign into your account, and just like you do with this Philips TV, you can sign into the, uh, to those other devices. Same with a Mac and a PC. And uh, bandwidth is uh, pretty sure that if you have a good ISP, 
is going to be good enough. Correct, yes. Um, on something like this size TV, what we recommend is about five to six megabits per second. Sustained bandwidth and just continuous. Sustained back the bandwidth, yeah. We can actually dip down uh, to two megabits per second because uh, the open internet, is, it, you can never guarantee its performance. So we, we are extremely flexible. And what it, uh, our secret source allows us to do is maintain the, play, the playability of that game regardless of the fact that there are going to be fluctuations in that bandwidth. So you have a good uh, system to take care of the ping times and stuff like that? Absolutely. And we actually work very hard with the ISPs to make sure we get you off the open inter internet as quickly as possible and we back all that traffic straight to our data centers. That means we, we can be uh, highly centralized with our data centers and, uh, and have an, an enormous reach with our service. Can servers. you play your games on a mobile device with a, like yes. a, a, a SIM card? Absolutely. It's well, fast enough. 4G is actually a low latency uh, uh, setting. So, uh, um, sorry, 4G is a low latency service. Yeah. So that means that even Any on LTE a smartphone, device? an LTE device, you can uh, connect a controller, download the app, and you can play this I'm game. So if you have a subscription, you can use any device you want? Any device you Just want. Just log in? Yes. And uh, how many subscribers do you have? Is that a secret? That's a big, big secret. We actually went into beta on the 5th of March and it was a completely new business plan, completely new offerings, and it has just grown and grown and grown. We were, we we're actually at a point now where we're starting to onload, uh, onboard uh, games like MMOs, massively multiplayer games, because what we, uh, we find is people do want to check in uh, on those games and they don't necessarily want to uh, have the massive downloads beforehand. The thing to remember with cloud gaming, you don't have to take care of any of the settings. We do all that for you. So you click, you're in the game. You click, you're in the game. So you think when you buy a game from a store, you get it home, you have to install it. One hour or something. One hour to install it, or you download it, you take a, a half a day. Then you have to download the patches, then you have to download the drivers, and then eventually you carry on playing. With on live, you hit the button, it's instantly playing. Is there anything that you might happen in the future where there's some kind of caching of the game somehow that happens or you never need that? Uh, you stream be, uh, it all. Uh, we stream it all. Um, we work very clear, uh, carefully to, to minimize the latency at every stage of the process. And by that way, uh, we, we make sure that it's the optimal experience for every player. Who is behind OnLive? Because there's, there's been OnLive before and now it's uh, like it's a... Uh, Something is happening with the company? Yeah, so we have uh, an Italian new team in place. Um, it's led by our, our lead investor, uh, Nate, uh, the guy's name is Gary Lauder. Uh, he's a, a, a brilliant chap. He has a lot of experience in the video streaming space um, and technologies like this. Uh, our CEO is Mark Jung, who um, uh, was one of the founding members of uh, IGN. Uh, and the team is just growing and growing and growing to really take full advantage of the technology. Because uh, Intel was saying their press conference is like 700 million people playing games, like gamers. So there's a big market right here. It's a huge market. You, you've only got to look at uh, the kind of revenues that gaming generates every year. A lot of people uh, view gaming as being uh, some you know, small hobby, but the generations are coming in that it's a a dedicated form of entertainment, much like movies, much like uh, books and music. So what if it works great and you're growing too fast? Is it like going to be like, sorry, our servers are full? <laughs> you never get this message right now? You know what? That would be a great problem to have. Uh, if The more popular this gets and the more the technology booms, uh, we want to grow with it. It's certainly going to be an, incum uh, an absolute integral part to how gaming evolves for the future. Where, where's the headquarters? Online. Uh, Online is actually headquartered out of Mountain View in San Francisco. All right, so just next to the Google guys. Yes, yes. So you can speak with them. Yeah, it's a it's a big community over there.